Let's talk comics. Let's do it. All right. I'm Jack Lutz, the host of El Paso Comic Con, and you, you run it. You run it. You do it. It's mine. (laughs) (laughs) And this is Talk Dirty to me, and a big hello to everybody tuning in from uh, the El Paso Comic Con uh, Facebook page, where you can always follow us and chime in, let us know what you think about certain topics, guests, comic books. Hey, it's El Paso Comic Con, we're going to be talking about comics, so let's do that. Talk Nerdy to Me starts now. Hey, listen! Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on, is it card or what kind of class do you play, girl, in an RPG? Because I know what them elf girls need from WoW to M- Let's do this. I like how uh, the last couple topics we've been sitting here and going, you probably know, know more about this than you, than you think. <laughs> you probably really do. So we were talking about topics of discussion, and you sprung this one on me, and I was like, what? What, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? There's going to be a, a, a red goblin, so we got a hobgoblin, a green goblin, a, now we have a red goblin. And here's the thing, it's going to be Norman Osborn, it's Norman Osborn with a twist, Norman Osborn with a friend, Norman Osborn with somebody that's... Enhanced. Right. He, Norman version 2. He has the Carnage symbiote costume now, the Carnage suit that Cletus... <laughs> Cassidy, <laughs> Cletus Cassidy had for the longest time. I never, I never liked Carnage. Never did. Really? That was one of those 90s just, I, I think that was just a 90s cheesy period of time where just bad storylines were coming out left and right. DC was killing off all their heroes. Marvel was just all about the artwork and really not about you know storylines. It's just me. If you disagree, please chime in. But life model decoys. That's the that's the <laughs> one thing that I really like what Brian Michael Bendis did uh, when he had the Century take Carnage oh. up into space, rip him apart. He said he was working in a comic book store in the '90s, and he said, "Own it." That's for all you people out there that love the <laughs> Maximum Carnage storyline. You know, saying that he hit. I actually I agree with him. That's the one time where I agree with him. I did not never like Carnage. However, however. Times have changed. You get a little older. You see a little mix and match in here. So you got Norman Osborn now with the Carnage symbiote costume. Yeah. I, I wasn't a big fan of the Cletus Cassidy. I thought they went too far with the symbiotes mm-hmm. because there was a there was more symbiotes you could count. Right. There point. eventually became a lot. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I, and like you said, when Century, mm-hmm. who was arguably the strongest character, the power in of the thousand universe, exploding yeah, suns, yeah, just kind of not right in the head. When he ripped him, threw him in the sun, mm-hmm. you figure, okay, nobody can live through that. Yeah. Obviously, little pieces of carnage. Enough. <laughs> little pieces of carnage. And they locked him into uh, uh, the lockbox at the mm-hmm. bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, yeah. where they keep all their dangerous artifacts. <laughs> well, Norman Osborn, who, he was a leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. for a while, he mm-hmm. had the Dark Avengers, he had, he had access to this information. The Dark Avengers, yeah. So he figured out, hey... Um, there's a symbiote down there that's going to make me very powerful. Reason being is because Norman lost the power and effect of yes. the Green Goblin. He had a little tussle with Spider-Man and wasn't able to be Spider-Man the... Spider-Man won. Yeah, surprise, <laughs> wasn't able to be the Green Goblin anymore. So Norman Osborn went on this journey to try and try and get the goblin powers back. Went right. up to, you know, the mystical mountaintops and... He even tried to be Sorcerer Supreme. Right. Didn't happen. They kicked him out. They kicked him out, man. So, so now Norman <laughs> has the power of carnage. So that is going to be... You got Norman, who's already cuckoo in the head. Now he's got the carnage costume. Which is just going to amplify his craziness. It's good. Now I really want to, now I really want to start picking up Spider-Man again. So uh, this is going to be, what, Amazing Spidey 800? God, 800, dude. They went back to original numbering, yeah. I'm loving the fact that both DC and Marvel, you know, Marvel, of course, copying what DC is, has been doing in <laughs> comic books lately. In comic books lately, okay, there's that big discussion where you got all these Marvel MCU fanboys that it, it, everything is so divided still. The casuals, I, I'm, calling, yeah. I'm calling them you guys out, the casuals. You know, Marvel's killing DC. Look at the comic books. Look at the comic books. 
Marvel's had to start stepping it up a little bit now. Yeah, and they've still got a ways to go. Right. And I think they're going to be doing this because this is a hell of an idea. I think this is low-hanging fruit. They should have done this a long time ago. So Spider-Man 800, May 30th. 80 pages. It's, yeah, big old, big old comic book. Expect 20 different covers. <laughs> yeah, again with Marvel. 20 different covers. So, all right. I mean, <laughs> you put, like you said, Norman Osborn, he has a vendetta against Spider-Man anyway. Mm -hmm. So does Carnage. Yeah. Because he was basically a rejected symbiote. Mm -hmm. So they both have that hatred for Spider-Man, put them together, it's just going to, yeah. they, they, they're going to want to kill him. They're going to go on a killing spree. I, well, Carnage always does. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be... And the artwork, I don't know if you've seen it, for the Red Goblin, mm -hmm. it, he just looks menacing. The, the artwork is good. <laughs> good. 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 All right. Again, 800. Issue 800, May 30th, 80 pages. Oh, thank God they didn't do a reboot back to number one. They've been doing that, like... They, they did that, what, every five years? They They had a... Yeah, well, they did reboot it a couple times, yeah. but then they went back to the original numbering, yeah. which I think included those numbers in between. Yeah. That, it, it's just weird. I don't right. know why they did it. Bad idea. Don't do it anymore. <laughs> so let's uh, let's wrap that one up. we got popcorn to eat. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Big thanks to Raywork Productions filming us, and uh, big thanks to you know everybody tuning in from the El Paso Herald Post and to the you know the El Paso Comic Con people tuning in. Expect uh, this to be happening a little bit more and more here at the Alamo Draft House. Want to yes. see it with you guys tuning in. You know what we should do? You know special announcements. We should also uh, do this. With, uh, we should do some more live announcements. We, we can do, do that now. We're sitting here. You want to do a live announcement? Yeah. You want to you want to do a special live announcement for El Paso Comic Con? Sure. Really? Tell your friends right know. now. Whoever's tuning in. Whoever's tuned in right now. We'll wait. We'll wait so you can tune in. Yeah. Share, share it with your friends. Tell sure, them. Share it with your friends. In. They're about to make a special announcement. Who are we announcing? I don't know. Uh, you <laughs> you've kept me in the dark, dude, and you tell me everything. Uh, you we, tell me everything. Everything's been pretty much announced. Uh, if you just go to the Facebook. I thought the, you had an that? announcement to make. Not really. <laughs> we can reiterate all oh, this stuff. Oh, you dick. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's nobody new. Like, let me think. No. <laughs> You're bringing in like half the Star Trek cast for the next generation. The the poster release party yeah. is going to be. February tell, okay, 23rd. tell me about the poster release party. Where is this going to be? Uh, Double Tree downtown. Yeah. Just, I mean, it's just down the street from the convention center. Yeah. Uh, on their beautiful sunset terrace, with overlook views overlooking um, the Chihuahua Stadium and the convention mm -hmm. center, all of downtown. Okay. Uh, we have a local artist, Daniel Campos, make our poster for us. Mm -hmm. It's it's awesome looking. You asked me and why you know who I like, and I said Superman. Why did you ask me? Sam? Oh yeah, I can't tell you that. <laughs> because the way that <laughs> the way that this guy pays me when I host the uh, El Paso Comic Con, I don't ask for money. I don't ask for money because I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after you pay <laughs> your, your your actors and such. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but he pays me with autographs and or artwork. Uh, one of the best things that uh, you ever, well, the best thing that you've ever given me, aside from your friendship, oh, is that original piece, <laughs> the original Ninja Turtle piece. For, yeah, from Kevin Eastman? From Kevin Eastman. So, that's a one of a kind. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So, the, okay. The full size mm -hmm. sketch he did for the cover of our Epcon yeah. comic book. So, again, uh, El Paso Comic Con is going to be when? April 13th, 14th, 15th. April 13th, 14th, 15th, and Friday, I'm, Saturday, Sunday. I'm going to be running around there as usual, so I'm going to be interviewing almost everybody. I just, I'm trying, I really, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a transparent guy. I want to take my mind off of everything that's been happening lately, and I just want to work, 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 and uh, Star Trek will be, I mean, there's going to be the Star Trek panel, yeah. putting all three of them in one panel. Good. Uh, the, an, the Ruby Anime Girls, the, there's five of them. Okay. They're all going to be in one panel. Uh, we got Mindy Sterling, mm -hmm. that you know as Frau Farbissena yeah. from Awesome Powers, and uh, Dante Bosco. I'm going to try mm -hmm. to get those two to do a voice acting panel because they were both on uh, uh, Avatar, I believe. Avatar, yeah. yeah. Um, Prince Zuko. Yeah. <laughs> hey, okay. also, everybody, Rufio. Everybody knows him as Rufio. Right, too. right. Um, we got, we're bringing in Jay Lee, Brett Booth, mm -hmm. 
um, all the local artist guys. Um, Island of Misfit Morphs that had, that had the creepy crawlies, the snakes and stuff that they yeah. let everybody mess with. Okay. We're bringing in another local YouTube uh, person mm -hmm. that they have. They have like almost eighty pets themselves, yeah. and they're going to show all that. You know who? I, you know who all I want to see? You know who I want to see? And I'm going to call them out right now uh -oh. because because they're watching in the best of ways. I see that Anna is is watching right now. I see Anna is there. Yep. And so I. I Really want to talk to uh, her and, and Jaime if they if, show if up. they don't go to C2E2. Right, right. This I, year. There's a reason why I, I <laughs> need to, I need to talk to you guys about some stuff. Some stuff. I think I know. Yeah. <laughs> I think I know. You were talking about it earlier. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they'll be there. Good. The Jaime Carrillo. Yeah. The Anna. The the Anna. The Anna. She um, hit me, man. Like that's like she was like she was slugging me. All right. She packs a punch. She does, oh. man. She does. All right. We'll talk. And we'll talk to you guys here, too. And we'll be back here at the Alamo Draft House again here very, very soon. Tune in, especially when you see us live through the El Paso Comic Con Facebook page. You can always ask us questions, talk about upcoming events, talk about upcoming uh, movie reviews. Movie reviews. We just did Black Panther. Who, exactly. And who you want to see at El Paso Comic Con, what you would like to be added, what you would like to be taken away. Yeah. Added. We listen to all that stuff. We're open so, suggestions. Absolutely. So, with that said and done, another edition of Talk Nerdy to Me and the books. Thanks to Rayworks Productions. I'm Jack Lutz. Troy Segner. Good night. Sleep tight. Oh. Not in my house. <laughs>